My name is Scott Veith, I'm from Winthorst, Texas, and I'm a third generation dairy farmer. My parents started this dairy in 1972. I bought in with them in 2001, and the rest of the farm from my dad about five or six years ago. My parents started it, and it was 60 cows, and now I'm currently milking 550 cows. Dairy's huge, it's probably the centerpiece of this community here in Winthorst in the Scotland area. This was founded by German settlers, and uh, dairy farming was what they did. You know, that's a bit a big part of this community. And we, at one time, I think we've had almost maybe 100 dairies. Now we're down to less than 30. It's kind of sad to see some of that go over the years. The dairy industry is really a competitive industry. And if you don't sit there and keep up with times and, you know, technology and things, it, it'll leave you behind. What makes my dairy farm unique is I have uh, nine Lely A5 robots that I installed. The reason I went to the robots is because my old parlor was getting old and outdated and I was wanting to get more innovative. And genetics is a big thing for me and I wanted to get my genetic potential out of my cows and I felt like the robots would give me that best option. We're getting uh, 95 pounds of milk right now and. Uh, my old parlor would probably be at the 80, mid 80s and stuff. It's 24 hours a day and they can come in as they want. The cow comes in, the brushes come on and clean their teats. Disinfectant goes on the brushes, cleans them again. The laser reads the teat placement and it milks the cow. And then the whole time it's dropping little pellets of grain. About the average is seven to eight minutes per cow. As soon as each quarter's done, it'll come off that quarter. Once that cow's finished, it sprays a teat dip on the cow. It'll open the gate, let the cow go out, and the next cow comes in. Right now, I'm making about 5,500 gallons of milk per day. Every cow gets milked at least twice a day, up to five times a day. To maximize efficiency, we try to keep around 60 cows per robot. We try not to get below 9% on free time with these cows. If you get over 15% free time, you're able to probably add more cows to, the, to your operation. So putting in the ninth robot, we'll be able to add another 60 cows to this barn and I can maximize this 100,000 square foot barn to its potential. As they walk in, they come in with these collars. The collars are essential for the robots. It has all the information it needs. And what I really like about it is if a cow's sick or if a cow's in heat, it'll automatically put them into separation pens. It'll read the chip and it'll know how much uh, grain it's gonna let that cow have for that particular milking. I think the biggest benefit of uh, this type of technology is sometimes you may have human error and uh, it eliminates that. I can go to computer at any time of the day and look at when a cow is having any kind of problems or issues. Well, I went to school, I got a degree in finance. I was kind of at that fork in the road. I couldn't see myself sitting behind a desk my whole life. I asked my dad, I, this is what I wanted to do because this was my passion and he understood that so he let me buy in. And genetics is a big thing. My dad was always one of the leaders in the whole state and even the country. People knew him from his cows and things and I knew he took pride in that and I could see it each generation as you breed cows, the advances you would make and I like that. You know, I'm, I'm a single dad I, I raised my kid and just the way of growing up and uh, raising a family is huge not many jobs you could just bring your son and you know work with you learn a lot of things and uh, so that, that's, it means a lot to me